years, the four continents gold medal has won, been won by one of two couples. That's going to change this year, however. Maybe it will be Miyu Suzaki and Ryuichi Kihara taking home the gold. They're 2018 Olympians. Suzaki just 18, Kihara 25. Both ex-single skaters. They partnered up in 2015. And this is Romeo and Juliet. Opening this program with one of the hardest side-by-side -side jump elements in the competition. Side-by-side -side triple lutz. She is not able to pull herself out on the landing. So it's a higher base value than many of the other attempted side-by-side -side jumps, but with a negative grade of execution that would bring it down. Split triple twist there. Throw triple lutz again. She's not quite able to hold on to that landing. When you talk about character building and using the music, it's moments like this, interpreting that age of Romeo and Juliet. There's an element of courtship to this. Absolutely. Triple toe, double toe. Oh, and she's only able to put a single toe at the end of that combination. Basically guaranteeing another negative GOE. Good ice coverage in this lift here. Good extension from her. Something that you always look for from the ladies in the lifts. Their flexibility, their extension, pointing their toes. Oh, and again, a mistake on the throw sow.
Miyu Suzaki and Ryuichi Kihara invoking the passion and the heartbreak of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, and I think the, the program was well choreographed and well designed to use the music, showing the, the playfulness of the young love and with the, the change in music, sort of the desperation and, and difficulty of the situation the that they find themselves in through the story. But sort of some difficulty here for these two in their program, not able to hit the jump elements, which really are their strengths. I mean, that the fact that they're trying side-by-side -side triple Lutz is just a testament to their jumping ability, the throws. We've seen them hit those easily and time and time again. And, uh, you know, just, just unfortunately marred by mistakes throughout. And it's just, it's so hard, as we've mentioned before, to really capture the audience, to capture the judges when you're making mistakes throughout the entire program. But bound for the Olympics, good opportunity for them to get perhaps this program out of the way, go back and focus on what they need to do to skate their best at the Olympic Games. They're the defending national champions in Japan, so clearly capable of more than what they provided at the four continents this year. Here in the replay, we see their opening, their split triple twist, a little bit low on the catch there. You'd like to see him bring her down just a little bit easier, and then right up into a lift. Thought this had good ice coverage. Take a look at her position throughout. Here's the triple toe, double toe. It's supposed to be another double toe there. She just lost too much momentum on that first double toe, not able to get the spring. And it's just, it's so disappointing, you know, to hit the triple toe, the first double toe, and not be able to, to finish it off. You put in all of that work, you want to get that positive GOE. It can make such a big difference. And again, good strength from him on the lifts. Difficult positions and a difficult exit coming out. And really, these two are strong skaters. I think sometimes just when mistakes are being made, it's hard to appreciate that. They train together in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, just outside of Detroit. Suzaki on the left, Kihara on the right. 100.32, so that puts them up in second place. And first place still controlled by the Canadian couple of Camille Roost and Andrew Wolf. They skated first to begin the free skate. One fifty-seven twenty-seven, the total for Miyu Suzaki and Ryuichi Kihara in their final tune-up before the 2018 Winter Olympics.